So again, good morning, everyone, and welcome back to our Crap Science Review. Uh, this would be our last day, the third day of Crap Science Review, and hopefully we can cover up the most important points on the topics you know, based on the um, calendar and outline we had. So last uh, yesterday, um, medyo na, na ano ta, uh, the late, the late sa plant propagation. And also, I just want to show you this, um, the application of the principles of Mendel's genetics you know, in plant breeding. So this is just a very short rundown because most of these are already discussed na, no, um, yesterday. But um, there are more complicated, like I said, um, um, technology that we have now. That's why we have... Um, biotechnology status as an introduction. So the term, term, terms yesterday have been mentioned about gamete, you know? It's a reproductive cell for sexual fusion. And what's haploid? Only one? set of chromosomes. Kaya half-half lang siya. No? And for, when we say cross, it's between two individuals. No? And when we say, when we say diploid, diploid, two copies of the chromosome set. No? By fusion of gametes. And when we say zygote, finally, it's the fusion of the two gametes, no? male and female. So, gene is also the in my DNA, no? that determines your characteristic. So, when you say locus, so it is where the gene is located. And the gene contains the DNA that defines our characteristic. So alleles means alternative forms of gene. And genotype, the genetic constitution of an organism. So it's the one that you narrow um, a three, a three RR, two small RR or dominant or, and recessive. And for homozygous, those with the same, both alleles have the same for a given locus. For example, pareho sila nga dominant, AA. And recessive AA, that's homozygous. It has the same alleles or genetic constitution. But when we say heterozygous, the genetic constitution niya is with different alleles in the locus gene. Like, we have the dominant A and the recessive A. So that's why heterozygous siya. So na-mention naman ni kagahapon, di ba? So another, to determine homozygous, homogeneous, Homogeneous is different from homozygous in a way that this already um, refers to the population of individuals with the same genetic constitution. Like for example, the pure line soybean, no? or field of hybrid corn. And heterogeneous, yung individuals have a different genetic constitution. So phenotype, kanina yung genotype is the, the genetic our uh, reconstitution, but now the phenotype is uh, the physical manifestation now of the genetic trait. So, ito yung nakikita na natin, no? Uh, although, for example, um, like, for example, ikaw, singkit ka, pero you can even have the, the genes for kind of budlat na mata or big eyes, for example. Do you have budlat na pangita ko? So, singkit or Big eyes. Parin haraga po istriya ha. So, for plants specifically, 
There are certain trait goals, like when you say yield, these are the trait goals of target in plant breeding. So this includes uh, the amount of seeds, the biomass, uh, food size, and number. And some quality traits such as so oil, flavor, color, and even the stress tolerance and drought in insect and resistance. So into grazing transgenes into plant varieties. So these are the traits that we want in this in the plant. So this is vary, this will vary for animals to mind, no? Alangan. So for example, no, as you can see on the data here, you see breeding techniques, you can increase the yield of particular um, hybrid corn as we goes on no? towards breeding. Like for uh, another example is yung quality trait oil control no? by incorporating um, through hydrogenation. So, or environmental stress tolerance. So, say for example, in US, madaming um, uh, intent, uh, drought impact. No? So, we should, they, they need to you know, breed for stress tolerant varieties. And also we do in insect and disease resistant, like for example, itong soybean sudden death syndrome. And yung kanyang katabi, yun yung resistant. So it's an example of deployment of transgenic traits or herbicide resistant genes in commercial varieties. So what are the foundations of plant of plant breeding or importance in genetic variation and selection? So there are biological variation because of the mode of inheritance, no? Single genes or multiple genes, these are the genetic causes. So depending sa pollination, no? On self-pollination or cross-pollination. And environmental, of course. Like for example, for 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 humans, no, uh, maski liwat makakay sa mga mama at papa, but the environment also where you where your formative years are, or for example, sa mga lola ng ipadako. Therefore, um, mung batasan partly fifty percent to eighty percent will come from the your environment, no. So, and also, the third one is the combination of genetic and environment and its interaction. So, sometimes because um, our environment was hard, um, so not harsh, or like, for example, for plants, because the environment was so harsh to these plants, so they develop the the uh, parang na immune no immunity na immune na siya sa kasaba na immune na siya sa drought na immune na siya sa insecto because of the experience but able to survive and so that makes him uh, ad uh develop his genetic makeup no so sometimes if, for example kung wapo ka tingo and then di ka mahilig magkanta kana nga genes na nakuha niyo from your ancestors will also vanish through time. So kung naamoy talent, gamitan ninyo, no? Para di siya mawala. Oo, mawala na siya. Kasi the more, ang, ang talent na gina-utilize niyo are the one that's are hit in hands. And yung mga talent na, like for example, atletika, that you, you rather, like, napungkol na ka kasi, so parang lilo na ka sa atlet. No? Sa sports, I mean, for example. So, phenotype versus genotype. Um, P is the phenotypic value in this instance. And it's measured with particular individual. And G is the genetic value, which is uh, the average across all environments. No? The, and E is the environment. So this is how you can get the overall um, result. So 
G plus E plus the interaction. So, tatlo ang ating uh, pwedeng effects ng ating tanin. Mm -hmm. no? Not even plants, but also. So that's the source of our genetic variation and basis for improvement. So, if you are going to, ano, if we could measure the phen phenotypes in all possible environments and regard environment as a deviation, then the mean of E environment would be zero and the phenotypic is equal to gene or genetic. So the genotype responds more strongly in the, in some environments. So depending na kung gaano harsh ang environment para maano si genes, ma-stimulate. No? So sometimes you don't know nga isundai kay ka. No? But then, um, di, na ano ka, na-stimulate ka. And then that's the time you know, ay, guwapo dahi ko stimulate. Ay, makasayang man ay ko paro paro G. Basta, ano, pili ka answer sa exercise. No? Mag-discover ninyo. So, um, yeah, in that instance, the environment would be zero. So this is another uh, ano, theory to show you the seawall sea right shifting balance theory where of course um, sometimes where you fit in you know, we have global optimum, local optimum and fitness genotype space. Na, Nalo tayo genotype space kung, kung asa nga mga genes ang naigamit in this particular activity mo ito yung ma-enhance or activate. You know? So it just means like that. Ayun na, ano, divulgation, no? And so when uh, methods of studying this, when and why each is useful in the cultivar production. So in in uh, crab and animal, I am not, you know, in crab plant or plant breeding, we have the so-called um, qualitative traits and quantitative traits, no? Um, simple inheritance controlled by major genes. Well, in quantitative measure complex by uh, which is controlled by several gene loops. You know? When we speak of qualitative traits, it's it's classified into discrete classes, and these are counted in class. Uh, and environmental has also influence on the phenotype and controlled by few major genes. Because ang nakaano sa plants and animals. Okay? Always die, um, die hybrid dogs, no? Kasi not only one particular trait ang involved, taghan. But I will show you example. Uh, next slides. In, in, for example, these are just to show you the seven traits in the simple inheritance made by Mendel, the back. Ani mga seed color form, uh, seed goat pod form, color position, and length. So, ito yung mag, mag joy, uh, will join in the cross or dihybrid cross, no? And you can see here which are the dominant and the excessive. But then, all in all, in one plant, they are in one place of Lutai in the in your genetic makeup. So often, your single gene traits are easy to see or measure. For example, ang gusto mo lang tanaw ng iyang seed color or ang iyang stem length. So, wala na kay pakialam sa uban. That's more simple. So, this is just to show you how to do the, which we have uh, already discussed yesterday, the monohybrid cross with, with both parents, no? For example, the resistor land in, the, in, in, in his dog. No? Kasi both tricolor, yahang dog, and then, but although black, white, and ano lang, brown, so na yung mga mugawas na blue. No? So, asagi ka na siya because of their ancestors. So, yeah, we already have discussed this one. Uh, even sa first self-fertilization siya, so it, um, it already, so after ka ng parent, no? Um, parent monohybrid, this will be the first filial self-fertilization. Uh, self so from parent one, so magiging ganitong gamit siya. And then for second filial fertilization, 
Ayan. So, end result, you have 75% yellow and 25%. So, um, naintindihan na ba natin ang Ponet Square? Sa kadakag example, Sharo. Okay, let's try. Who'd like to, ano? Yes. Maon siya. Seeds? Huh? Some seeds? Um, for example, kasi ang, ang, ang seeds lang naman, lang yung bawa, um, seeds lang ang mukhang trait na gusto, no? Tama ba ko? And then sa um, iba, ibang parents. So let's for example, uh, uh, let's um, imagine these are seeds, so yellow seed and green seed. So ang magawas na pag i-mix ni mo na siya, ang magawas na sa yellow is, of course, is these are both um, dominant, capital Y, and the green is, kasi ito ang recessive. Let's say, ang green na seed is recessive. So, that's uh, recessive Y or, I mean, recessive green or small letter Y. So, pag imuha na siya ipunit square, i-distribute mo ang, ang yellow, yellow seeds na dominant here. And the, the second parent is the green, but it's recessive small letter Y. So, pag ano ni mo, pag pair ni mo, i-pair ni mo, mauna dun ang capital and then followed by the small letter. I-pair na po ni mo na ang second row. So, capital niya po ng mauna. Kasi imuha mo ng i-pair di YY siya, YY. So, y, big Y and small Y. And sa second uh, column, imuha na siyang i-pair ang small Y and big Y. So, uh, big Y and small Y siya. So, or, Dominant yellow and recessive green na, na seed. And of course, basta ang una niyo mong isulat doon kay ang dominant or capital letter and then small. So, therefore, sila pa nan magkitabong yellow. Kasi, ang capital na Y is whether single siya, ma-mix ma siya, it will, ang genotype na mga makita sa iha is Yellow. So, all all of your, kasi, like for example, no, sa seeds, although ang seeds niya is yellow and green, pero ang yellow kasi ang, mm -hmm. ang dominant. So, ang magawas with ng mga um, 100% ng mga, mga tanom will bear yellow seeds. Now, if in, in mix na ni mo lang, um, first, the so first, uh, first filial generation or cell fertilization, um, syempre, kanina naman ang product, no? So, kanin product na uh, dominant and recessive uh, Y, big and small capital Y, and then i-cross na po ni mo ang mga anak niha, i-cross na po ni mo sa big and capital, uh, big, big Y, capital Y and small Y, or ano na sila? Um, mix na na sila, no? Heterozygous na siya. Kasi, kanin, homozygous and homozygous dominant, homozygous um, recessive. But here, heterozygous na niya sila. A dominant um, Y and recessive Y or dominant uh, yellow or recessive green. So, kapag i-mix mo na ito ha, ito na po na distribute here. So, capital Y, small Y, capital Y, small Y, and then pag all, it, syempre, all capital Y or dominant yellow siya tanan. And here in the second column, big capital Y and small Y, so heterozygous na siya na um, dominant Y and recessive Y. And this will result to heterozygous again, and this will result to homozygous Recessive. So, ang total natin, dalawang, dalawang yellow phenotypic value. Kasi, um, meron tayong dalawang, also, um, homozygous na yellow and um, homozygous 
dominant yellow and heterozygous dominant yellow. No, so, dalawa siya. Ang isa lang ang nagmanifest ng genotype ng greens. Kasi, mo ang mga combination. So, we have tatlo dapat na yung 1, 2, 3, ako. Anong duharan ni? <laughs> diba? Na wrong siya. Or tama ba ko? At ang isa? Di ba tatlo? Ah, okay. Duha ka. Sorry. Doha, but in, kung ihimo na ni siyang ratio, ano ni siya? 1 is to 2. Or 1 is to 2. Yeah. And 1. So, 75% is yellow and 25% is green. Kung lagyan kong istoryahan, no? Kasabot na ka, ma'am. Kung i-seed siya. Now, yun na nga, no? If you are going to um cross then, with different traits, kung saan mo pagpili. So, palisod ng palisod taani. So, in the self-pollinated diploid species, meaning that meron silang two sets of chromosomes, no? And upon selfing, the second filial population na consisting of 25% homozygous, itong um, big uh, homozygous, O, dalawang big Y, they will produce big Y genotypes and 25% homozygous na kanin, uh, recessive C will produce recessive Y genotypes. So, only this one will segregate para maproduce ng genotype in proportion. So, these are explained in here. Asa ni mga at to? Kanin siya. Kanin, um, this type of uh, um, genetic alleles will produce the CC plants no? and this one will produce this one and this one here. But don't worry, ha? Kasi walang lalabas na mga ganito naman <laughs> sa board exam. <laughs> uh oh <laughs> Yung uh, simply terminologies lang. Mga alleles and ato, and a homozygous, heterozygous, katong di hybrid and mono hybrid cross lang no kung halimbawa may ganun siya na kung i-cross din mo ang dominant and recessive Y no so unsay combination ana ah, lang kanin kanin siya ipakita lang na ko ang application sa plant breeding nga kasi higher naman po niya siya so don't worry if you wala mo kay plant breeder sa father rin no high plant breeding major So, I know Libog, like for example, one hina ka ka rin, no? Um, kasi this is how we do kung halimbawa mag-backcross ka. Na, Nag-discuss mo backcross sa animal breeding? Kasi kung mag-backcross ka, kailangan mo ibalik yung muhang anak dito sa parent niya. No? Which is not good for animals, but for plants, it's good kasi gusto ni mo tong target na trait niya. Now, for example, kanin, uh, because heterozygous heterozygosity will be reduced by half in every selfing generation. So as you can see, so from sec second filial generation to, to eighth filial generation, what happened to the homozygous dominant na, na yellow? More? Mudako siya, di ba? So, after 14 na 8th generation o ganang breeding, 49% na siya nga mugawas. No? But kanin heterozygous, 50%, mag, ang iyang heterozygous after um 8th generation, mudictrace ba siya by 0.75, 0.78%. Well, the canning recessive magka, magka increase food siya. So, if you want if you want the dominant yellow, uh, halimbawa, may, uh, mixed breed na name mo hangikuan and then gusto niyo balikon na ang, ang gusto niyo balikon ang iyang pure line. So, mag-selfing ka itong iyang parent and therefore, after it generation of breeding, 
makuha na ni Muning, 49% pa lang. So, padayon pa ka, padayon pa ka, hansun, pila ka generation, makuha na ni 100%. Kasi kanyang dominant, like for example, siguro no, wala na niya trade ba, then gusto niya mo ibalik. Then for example, in my project in Abaca, before, no, um, ang, um, gusto, kasi ang Panama disease is, ay, banshee tap, dili. Sa Abaca, Sorry yung ata, no? Wait lang. Virus resistant kasi. Sorry yung isa na ay fungus. Banshita. Banshita pa siguro tayo mong control na. na nangita kami o ganang. Kasi before, in fairness, we are the top producer of abaca. But now, we're not anymore. Um, ang South America na. And kanang in a breed UPLB project, national project na, na siya, and then, um, ang, nakalimot po po sa mga, yeah, sa, ang ganang, ang breed na po tari sa Abaca is different from, from Luzon, but then, ang pinaka the best na breed is na Adare, ang sa tawag, sa breed sa Abaca. Sorry, nakalimot po sa mga pangalan. Medyo kuhan ko, ngaran ko karun. And um, kasi ang pang pangalan na naman sa mga mga breeds is kala H uh, hybrid one two three four no and the mix nila na ay isa pa nakita nila nga kanang breed sa sagi na kuan siya actually ka kardava siya nga breed na kuan siya kada resistant siya sa uh, virus so the breed niya sa abak na katong the best and then ang abaka gibreed gibreed nang gibreed sa balik sa kanang katong resistant nga variety so and then uh, ang nilabas of course ang nilabas pag breed is heterozygous na siya pag gikuha kasi ang katong kan halimbawa mo na ni ang mix no mo na ni ang mix na heterozygous na katong abaka let's say ang y is abaka ang dominant is katong Uh, let's say, banana ni siya, kanyang abaka. No? So, ang gibuhat niya is gibrid o balik kaya para uh, mudikrease ang iyahang pagka-banana. No? Kasi, mapangit man ang iyahang kuan, mapangit ang iyahang quality sa abaka, resistant na siya kasi dominant man siya. No? Pero, gusto ang gusto ibalik mo, muna yung nakalisot sa tanong. Okay, gusto ni mo ang iyahang ka resistant, which is dominant siya, pero nawala na po ang iyahang fiber quality. No? So, di control ni mo asa dapat yung imuhang i-prioritize sa fifth generation, because sa sixth generation. Okay, as you can see here, no, ang, pagka, ang iyahang pagka this is resistant is 46%, pero ang iyahang pagka fiber quality na lang yung baba na 6%. So, mo na mo, when should we select the best character? Kasi ang tanim, iba-iba ang traits. Hindi nila may isa ka-trait. No? And even animals as well. Ang Oo, so yan, seeds. Flowering. Sa banana. Kaya nang iyahang putot. So, um, anyway, sa ating next lesson, which is plant propagation, I will show you yung how they do the emasculation. Kanang maraganig, um, ikaw na, imbis ka nang you use pollinators, ang tao na mismo, kasi, or usually ginatapad lang man nila, and then ilahang din na cover lahat. Ang kita na mo, o ganun, uh, gina, kanang corn, corn for seed production ilahang ginakulong og screen para wala ganit mo across o oh, ma-isolate siya. Tapad lang nila ang duha. That's exactly ano, kung inani lang dyan kung dyan na set up. Na, Naka-isolate lang siya na variety from all others. Bulay lang yung variety na wheat. Wheat man eh. Wala like something soy beans. Okay. So this is another example. Uh, of how uh, the frequency and the 
genotype. So, ang ibig sabihin nito is that um, this A, uh, this dominant A and this dominant B will have one in every 16 frequency. As you go along, kung i-mix na ni Hon, these are um, dihybrid cross na um, with different traits and varieties. So, kani, um, this is just to show you the frequency and sa kadaghan. So, 1 is to 16, 1 siya. 2 is to 16. So, this, those were the qualitative traits. And for the quantitative traits, man, it's, these are expressed on continuous variation or normal distribution. And again, you individuals measured are not counted. So, these are... This has significant environmental influence on phenotype. And these are controlled by many minor genes with small or large effects. So, for example, in this in this figure, um, by in terms of quantity naman siya, like in kabigato, no? So this is, when you mix the tag 6 kilogram nga kaning, kaning, kwa na siya, cross na siya na daan, heterozygous na siya, and here, and self-pollinate mo siya, so this will be your, even if self-pollination ang tanong ha, it doesn't mean na the same ragya ko nila, wala na'y, wala na'y ganang dihybrid cross na mahitabo, no? So, that's uh, that's the different combination na pwede and it's and their frequency sa kadaghan ng ilahang daghan na kaayo kasi daghan ang kaning frequency niya kaning A A A A and B B kasi two characters na na siya so I guess yun lang, and this is what will show you another combination, no? and it's different uh, genes na ma-produce. No? 20 genes with this, can you square, and what is this square, 20 genes. In terms of reproductive behavior naman, so these, are a, these are another illustration to show you. Um, uh, next time, I last yesterday pala, nag-mention pa about mono and dioecious. So for self-pollinated plant, of course, this should be perfect flower. So ang, ang kanalang variety are pure line as well as hybrid variety. So perfect flower, self-pollinated na siya. So again, it doesn't mean nga na selfing lang siya, wala na siya yung mixed na variety kasi gikan pa na siya sa ano. Yes. Yes. Depending sa tanong kasi um, as a rambutan. Cross kasi ang rambutan. So, we try this, no? Yeah. So, if you notice, wala kayo tayo variety sa um, diba, pare-pareho na tayo variety sa mga mutan. Pila ka variety? Pila sa, sa BPI, pila ka variety? So ang mahita po kasi anak 
Ang may tabo kasi Anna is, ang rabutan kasi is na siya pagka-accommunicate. No? Clonal siya. Pero, um, undergo, it will undergo di, um, cross-pollination. So, therefore, ang seeds niya, capable din siya of new variety. Kaso sa, in the case of mangga, rambutan, mangustin, if you notice, wala kayo daghang variety sa ilaha, no? Kasi, um, na asilay, uh, ako may kids sila, na asilay, ano uh, sila artisya sa ilang scene, which is more by my more by girls than the the one na na-develop sa kanang pollination no so kato ang duha ang mutubo na nakita na mo sige duha nga duha ka sige ang mutubo sa isa ka sige wala pa mo kita ah uh, uh, because these are apomectic and if they are apomectic um nasilay no sila tissues na Usually, mao siya ang mag-survive. Kaya ang mangustin, mas cross, mo cross pollinate dyan mo na siya. Pero, dili maapektuhan kasi ang ang maging successful nga si Tiga to, clone. O, ang mutubo, clone. Sa so, pollination, perfect flower siya. It means that they have the both Male and female. So, mag-discuss ng taan na after this. Okay? Sa so, between naman sa mga tanong, no, nga uh, monoecious siya, dioecious, although hindi butang gada rin nila, di ba siguro nga siya corn? So, ang papa, monoecious siya, dapat yung mga cucumber, no? Kasi, naasya yung male nga pink o female flowers, separate siya in one plant. Pag dioecious, like papaya, ay lalaki nga papaya nga tanong na ay babae. And self-incompatible siya. For example, yung sa'yo nakabutang, dapat um, corn ang nakabutang na rin nga mag-watch ito sa'yo. <laughs> corn ang nakabutang, self-incompatible or yung kanang um, kangkong, self-incompatible na sila. O nang cuttings ang ginagamit. O na po siya is very small. And I, I mean, kanang Di kangkong, kanin. <laughs> ah, kanang, ano ba, lagot mo? Ano ba sabihin na siya? Kanang kamote. O, kanang mga kamote. So, going ba sa corn, di ba kanina, na-explain na ako last week na ang iyahang tassel, late mag-develop, no? recessive na ang kanyang embryo bago pa matanggal ang So, usually, ang ma, ma formulate is ang ma-fertilize is from pollen from other corn na, na, na una o ganang. Uh, so, ang effect niya is synthetic variety, heterozygous siya, din siya pure line. Hybrid variety, of course, but um, pwede rin in, inbred development possible. No? So, kana, so kana, this types of flowers, um, Kuhan yun siya, heterozygous. And kung mga limited flowering lang siya, mga clone sila, mga variety or hybrid. So just like at ang i-ask ni sir. Sa? Dates? Kanang sa ano, sa Saudi nga kuhan, national food. Naatay dates? Namay na talagang limang sa Batangas. As a Batangas, implantation siya. Wow. And then? Of female. Of female. Cross pollination. Yeah, I'm going to go. Uh, sa una, uh, especially kung wala ang tayibis. Yeah. 
Ah, ah. Oh, oh. ang tawag. So nakasampol mamaya. So um ah uh, ito yung uh, example pedigree type of breeding method wherein ah uh, this is this use self pollinated species to your your lines varieties. So that's why pedigree breeding ang tawag. No? Kasi self pollinated species ang ginawa. So this is the illustration how to do it from the first year to the fifth year. So again, mamili lang sila. Explain na ako in short. After the two parents or two characters, piliun lang nila direct kung asa ang ilang sample na kwaon. And then again, it makes me for second na, a fourth year na third filial generation. Then, mamili na po sila nanay technique. So, this is pedigree. And for the development naman ng self-pollinated species, pedigree method, ito yung overall process. So, abin niyo dali lang. No? Nanay sila yung mga arrangement. And for bulk method, ito naman. No? Meaning, wala sila na mili. Tanandyo di horot, which is more kapoy, no? And mo in this most the six and seven lines are uniform enough for preliminary UTSP. So this is another single seed descent breeding method. So iba po bulk bulk yeah, the selection now. And this is the back cross breeding that I have told you. No, from kwa ang gusto niya depending kung back. <laughs> Pasahan na lang ninyo ni ha but ang go, ang ginakuha nila is kaning uh, isa ka R dere a uh, dominant R here and recessive R so mo na ginabalik-balik dere dere that's and multiply and then self pollinate and this is an another recurrent selection strategy used extensively in cross pollinating crops So, development of synthetic plant variety in a frozen species. It's another strategy. So, actually, dagan pa kayo, no? For plant hybrid variety. Yeah. So, ito yung maging back cross one, two, three. So, as you can see, from first filial generation, pag gina back cross ni mo siya sa parent, after seven years, you will get the 99%. Original na trait. Using the molecular markers, it's more simpler to choose to visualize the genotypes. Makita na dere. Ah, kani ang napili, no? Using the molecular markers, makita ni mo na ay okay. Kani ang pili on kani na June sa pumwa on. Di ba mas high tech na siya? Using gel electrophoresis para maaccelerate ang breeding cycle. Inain ana kadaghan ang ating markers or chromosome in the case of soybean varieties. Diba? Super duper. So I guess, um, and then we have other breeding methods aside sa mga na-mentioned na techniques. We have vegetative production and apomexis, yung nabanggit ko, and mutation breeding. So apomectic katong mga crops na napukoy separate lesson ana but um basta in short lang you remember apo exist na na shy two seeds na maggrow in one two seedling na maggrow in one seed because meron siya no cellular tissue or clone no and usually uh, ang mabuhi lang ana katong clone katong ning agi og katong fertilized or um pollinated fertilized na ano seedling uh, ma maabsent siya sa clone Usually, mas ano sila, by girls or ano. Okay, so I guess we we'll shall um, continue and ano, fast track na tayo. With, wala na uh, ibang tanong with breeding. From the ano naman.
So again, this is the complete flower. Why complete? Kasi... So why complete? Okay, so why complete flower? Because it has a stamen, the male reproductive flower, and pistil, the female reproductive organ. So there are actually a lot of types of flowers. We have staminate, lalaki lang siya ng flower. Pistillate, babae lang siya, hermaphroditic, na siya yung bold. Pwede siya lalaki and babae. Monoaceous na to. Like sa cucurbits, ito siya. Um, meron siyang uh, lalaki and babae ng flowers separately in one plant. And dioaceous, different plant, lalaki or babae. Andromonaceous, perf na siya perfect, kompleto na siya, and meron din siyang staminate o lalaki lang siya, like the musk melon. So these are uh, the complete flower, the main flower, and the female flower. So this tomato flower is a perfect flower. And this is the male flower of the uh, monoaceous cucumber, and this is the female flower. Bugdo siya. So, may lahani mo pag bugdo, babae na siya. And for, <laughs> ano naman? <laughs> for, for papaya naman, there are three types of papaya flower. Female, male, and hermaphroditic. So, these are the flower characteristic na female. So, kung dag po gani ang iyahang ka ng bulak, female na siya, pero pag yak, male na siya. And um, hermaphrodite mo medium size. So, but kung sibling pa lang, yung saan ni mo, pagkabalo, ha? And then, maminikag seeds, pwede ni mo na mahibalan na, akan niya ang mutubuan ni mga lalaki. Naman ko yung mga, mga tinauhan ka rin na ka ng grisak tunga ang paan, ng mga seeds, di ba? Sa inuhang papaya kay mga babae daw na. There's no study yet to prove that. No? It's just a practice nga dito sa tunga mga But by, of course, visually, you can see naman na katong middle ng mga seeds, they are more vigorous. No? Mura bugdo po kaya sila ang tanawon kumpara sa katong pagyat naman na But you know how to choose characters of seeds, di ba? Na enough siya for germination. Kasi ang papaya seeds are recalcitrant kaya sila. Di ba? And, yes? Ay, sa unsa to? Wala. Oo, and then G? Oo. Pagka-select niyo. Oo naman, unless na madakuan siya o mga mga fungus or ano, bacteria. Let's say something. Actually, like sa tissue culture, no? It doesn't mean na pag ang tissue culture, pag tanong ni mo, wala, dili na madapuan ang sakit. No? Kasi dili mo sila resistant variety. But then, you are sure na ang kanan, ano, wala yung sakit. Pag, pag tanong ni mo, na in, pag infested ni mo ang area o of, of ng bacteria and fungus, therefore, masakit din na siya. At least, wala ka nagdalat sakit from your tissue culture. So, how does pollination occur? Of course, yung ating pollen, 
will land on your stigma and will grow true to your ovule or ovary. And plants usually have double fertilization. Now we're in. Why double? Because ang maging labas niya ay dalawa, two n fertilized egg and your um, antipodals and synergies. So this is the general formation ng tomato flower, no? From um, pollination, seed formation, pollination, fertilization, hanggang fruit formation. So what are the different breeding methods? Ito lumalabas din sa board exam. Yung naturally self-pollinated sila, like the beans, lettuce, and tomatoes, kasi complete flower sila. No? Not, although pwede rin maging magkaroon ng crossing, diba? but they are capable. Ano siya yung minayaw yun nila? Ha? Sopo ka? Yes? Ano siya yung pangapana? Ano mauna ang manjug ka? Nakai-crash din rin, no? Pagawas na yung mga hanggi ba, eh? Ha? Sure na ka na. Bala ka. Nung ilang ikaw na yung uli. So, for cross-pollinated naman, the crossifers, the root rats, and the sweet corn. Kasi yun nga, may mga problema sila sa ilang mga sarili, no? So, they need others to pollinate. So, like for example, for the corn, na-explain ko na ito, uh, ang tassel niya, ang fur will, will uh, ano, fall down late for the embryo, recessive na kay embryo, no? Ready na kayo, kaso dilip pa ang pa siya pwede pakaslan. <laughs> so, another is partially cross-pollinated siya kasi um, for eggplant, pepper, and so on. Kasi um, pwede po siya self, pwede po siya cross, kaya partial. So, this is how they do the emasculation in tomato. They cut the petals, the sepal, ang mabili na lang, ang iyahang stigma. No, and then they they collect the pollen from other varieties, and then we seal, we purify, we store, and then we just grow anila. And um, after a while, <laughs> then uh, this is now the effect of the manual pollination called emasculation. Okay, yung ano ginabuhat niya sa kamatis, and even nagkanina sa dates, no? Kasi, okay, so, like for example, ang, ang kamatis no, in, the, in December, mas, mas gamay yung bunga kasi because of the heat and uh, light requirement. And um, that's one reason nga no. And um, pollinators, available pollinators. Although, kung ano man siya. Because pollen, we collect. Ito siya na lang. And even you can do it manually na ito lang. Kwan-kwan. Takot-takot sa imuhang imuhang eggplant. Sa imuhang garden ba? Muna yung ginabuhat sa mga bees. Regarding na naman ba yung Ama affect ay kung ay kani kano lapuk lapuk kay siya. Kung di lang kasi tamin ni kada niya ang soil with bacteria, okay lang naman. As long as so long na dili kang tamilin. Sa final option na ba? I mean, in terms of long-term months, why don't we prioritize the business? Okay na siya. Ang mga kabot? Hindi. Mas okay dyan. Oo. Disinfectan lahat. 
Now, like for example, sa nurse setting bagging, no? Kailangan na siya to disinfect. Um, kung mag-bagging ka, but common pa na ninyo na, ano, na iluto ninyo ang rice, kaya sprayhan of chemicals. So, for um, versus hybrid and open pollinated, they both can, you know, of course, uh, panang, can be used, but of, uh, for hybrid, it's more superior in terms of, kasi gipi na kasi siya eh, no? crop uniformity and um, however con extensive siya. Whereas, kung halimbawa ka na imong gip, tanong ka ron, paan lang yung seeds para imong ibuk pa. Itanong na kung balik mo na yung open pollinated. Kung wala ka kabalo, nagtanong ni mo anak, lailahin na ang mugawas. Masika ni hybrid. Pag tanong ni mo sa hybrid, ayun na pag ex after namunga na ang hybrid, yung bunga sa hybrid, yung hindi tanong usap, ayun na pag expect na pare-pareho yung bunga. Kasi cross na na siya. And these are the three quality and characteristic. No? Dapat true to type, high on germination, vigor, wala yung bilis siya dormant, and free of foreign at napper sa kanang nakapak na. And no disease or insect contamination. So we have seed classes before it, it, it will be commercially available. Of course, the after how many years? Di ba kanina, 70 years bago nagpakos ang effect sa 99%. So, after from them, ang uh, breeder seed na, na siya. White, white ang color sa ilahang tab. And these are the initial source. Then after that, uh, matest na gina siya. Foundation seed na ang tawag with red tab. So, these are the progeny na, na e, that will be maintained. Meaning, kana siya, i-preserve na, na siya na seed kasi sure na gina siya nga in ano yung characters. Next, we have registered seed. Green tag na siya. So, na-register na na siya sa Bureau of Plant Industry yeah, for production and certification. And then, pag-certified na siya, blue tag na siya, final product na na muna na available sa ating mga commercial sa uh, sale. So, in terms of seed performance naman, kailangan... Um, na sila seed vigor, meaning rapid, complete, uniform germination. Pag diingon ito, 99% germination, 99% um, jud ang germination. So kung may pag 90% germination, therefore, ang imong itanong sila, kung nakay 100 seeds niya, 90% lang yung germination, so pilay mo itanong para mag magkuha ni mo ang 100% ni mga seedling or plant. Ha? Kailangan ni mo 100 seeds. Yeah, ang imuhang 100 seeds is 90% lang on germination. Dagdaga ni mo all 10% or more. Para sobra. Naaman mo ang kay kanang copy, sir. Ako na itong ipaprint. Dito na ako pa kami kung halos pabili nila maprint. <laughs> Nag-i-send na na po daw ni sa GC. And nakakot tayo ginatawag na seed enhancement, no? Para mas ma-imprint yung seed vigor. Nag-i-tay ginatawag na cheating, meaning parang i-humol siya daan, no? Para ma-activate. No? Like sa rice, di ba? Ginahumol na po bago ito, no? Overnight. Oo. Di ba? Ang saan ka variety? Ilang ka oras? Ah. 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 Yeah, thank you for that. Kanang, kanang, ano gina siya ha? Direct from the, kanang, kanang, o oh, actual, te uh, technical knowledge. So, may, nakutay ginatawag na osmo conditioning or seed priming ang tawag. We're in, 
at ito na siyang balutan o kanang um, pwede natin siya ibutang sa osmoticum na makakapagpicture ay sa money osmoticum i-control ang iyahang ang iyahang temperature no? or balutan na so therefore when you undergo osmoticum and using osmoticum all seeds will have exactly the same moisture and yung metabolism will be stimulated. Pwede tayong tayong gumamit ng coated or pellets, no? Uh, using mga clay, no? With fungicides and insecticides na. That, that's why, ayaw yun na, kanaan ang nakabaligyan na nga, ano ha? Planting seeds. Kaya nag-pink-pink na na, na 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 siya yung fungicides, yung kanoon ninyo, na kung sa kayo mo. No? <laughs> Ah. <laughs> 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 Ang pitchay black blue blue. Kasi sa sunflower seeds ba no, gibalik ya para ano. Makabalo na ni fungicide mo kalami sa sunflower seeds. With fungicides, no? And for synthetic seeds, ang embryo lang di preserve, di butangan o gel para sure sure yun ha? germination but that is very expensive of course so now for the pre germination treatment like fungicide metalaxil para sa down in mildew or meron tayong tinatawag na vernalization or co treatment for example sa mga tulips or gladiolus for um naturally they are being stored in freezer or frozen uh, for 66 months at 40 degrees Celsius, but pwede siya alis done or alternate, alternative with GA, gibberic acid, so for 12 hour at 500 to 2,500 ppm para ma-enhance ang flowering sa bulak po siya. So that's vernalization. Or in seed inoculation with rhizobia, or net, uh, to enhance your nitrile and fix it. For cassava naman, how to cut cassava? So, pag seven months na siya, i-cut ni mo 20 to 25 centimeters. So, viable siya for five months. Sugar cane pod using three nodes. No, yung top portion. Sweet potato naman, cuttings with 30 centimeter of the vine. And um, tuber, white potato tuber, it can be no seed pieces na naibad, and then applied with fungicide before planting. So um, it's very important to know the germination and the important um, factors. Una, for us, if, uh, once na nag-emerge na ang radical or yung magiging roots niya, that's the germination commence already. Uh, for our for the grower naman, pag yung whole seed, yung whole seedling with all the leaves will grow out from the soil, that's seed germination. You know? But there are different views of seed germination. So how does germination occur? Without this, germination will not commence. You know? Moisture, which is less than 40%, oxygen, in favorable temperature, depending on unsa siya nga crop, cool season ba or warm season, and sometimes light, like for lettuce. It's only lettuce na mga kapamilya who needs light. The rest, they need to be buried underground. Okay, so these are the monocot versus dicot. Of course, monocot one, cotyledon, dicot two. So, what's the difference between epigeus and hypogeus germination? So, uh, si Manny lang, no, pag hypo, low. Meaning, ang iyang kapelodon will be buried underground um, during germination. But for epigeus, the kapelodon is raised above the ground. Like for garden B, yeah, garden B. And, but for P and corn. So mostly dicot no? and monocot are depending actually. Kasi like hmm, 
mangga, mang mangoes are daikots, pero di na kaya niya i-raise ang niyang kotel ng kabugat anak. Sabi na ang koan, coconut. By the way, nakikita naman bubble coconut. I just remember. It's the biggest fruit in the world. And the biggest seed. Kita na mo? Double coconut. Ha? Sa picture na. Wala pa ka, Ana? Nakaka? My God! Tagahin niyo, babe. Nagtubo na? Ang sakad ako. Ay, ano? Ay, sakit si Gwar. Double coconut ang pasabot? Double coconut? Ah, no. ah ako, kanya akong ginamin, ha? It's the biggest. This one. Diba? Mura siyang itlog. <laughs> See on the double coconut is the world's largest seed. Laban ka na, Mira. Mira, tamba nga naman. Uy, nag-relate si Mira. Na, ano iba na ako nasa yung Pinos Banyos? Ang butiri sa inyo. Wapo na collection sa BPI. Unsa siya? Nuts? Malabang ka ni. Oo. Napadin mo rin bulbul, no? Pastilan. Mira, close your eyes. Ano ko yung ito? So, inaaral siya sa salon. Okay, Clara, Mira. Ayan na lang. O, diba? So, move on na ta, Mira. Asa ka dyan ito? Sa pala ba naman na akong dagahan ng ito? Okay, so Kasi actually The true seed germination Occurs in the second stage Where Where the metabolic process Occurs So, for example Napa germinated seeds So that what After water inhibition This is water inhibition And this is the metabolic process. Saning equally. Hi. So this is the radical emergence. And the true seed germination is the metabolic seed. Therefore, when you um when you um define seed germination, it is a, a metabolic process wherein water, once water invites, it will activate the gibberic acid. Will activate the uh, amylase to degrade the, the starch inside, enable for the epicotyl and the radical to develop. 
So this is an app, this is just to show you the, you know, the whole process of metabolic process of seed germination. So what's the purpose of the light in the seed germination for a photo activation of the DNA and RNA? So once the amylases are activated by GA3, uh, the starch and sugar will be metabolized to be consumed by the growing in brown. Para yung kanyang cotyledon, epicotyl, and radical. So primarily it needs water, but not too much water na mag-flood na siya kasi it still needs oxygen. So sorry, we can flower, but these are the different minimum percent germination with their germination temperature no? and the days of the, our lifespan. No, uh, sa inyo hang ano? So usually, um, this is this is in degree Celsius, uh, in Fahrenheit. So na as ang range sa two to sixteen degrees Celsius. No, ang minimum and optimum is hindi dapat lalampas ng forty one degree Celsius. Kasi init na kukay na. So na ang when you speak of percentage of germination, naarapoy din na siya sa 60 to 80 ang germination. So pag palit ninyo na nakakan na siya, di ba? Amazing na yung bandod 99%. No? Because they have already kailang ano, and um, supplemented and uh, enhanced those particular seeds. So these are again the years good germination from two to five years and their lifespan for more than 10 years. But um, there are beds, uh, mag-anuman mag, mag, Next is the coma. types of seeds based on their um, storage. So again, these are the types of vegetables that will have lifespan for ranging from one first to fifth year. So this is just to show you the Brussels sprout. So and uh, the seed moisture should be less than 10%. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but in order for it to be stored. So when we say uh, we speak of storage, it has three types: orthodox and recalcitrant. So um, na discuss so many different sa inyo no? The orthodox siya, it can be stored from five to ten percent, like the artist sequel guyabano and uh, most of the vegetables na nakakain. So those are orthodox kasi pwede sila ma less ang moisture content sa 2 percent But recalcitrant is very high. It's more than 10%. Otherwise, they are not, uh, they are also not stored longer like the mango, durian, rambutan. Kaya hanggang ngayon, hindi ginato pwede eh, um, i-package or ikan ang kaning mga recalcitrant seeds. And, but there are seeds that are intermediate that they can last longer but they are high with high moisture like the citrus. So among all the different ano, kanang storage materials, ano ang pinaka the best na gamitin ko for storage? Is it paper, cloth, polyethylene cans? It's cans. No? Kaya lahat, most of the seeds na, vegetable seeds na kakan na sila. And nakakoy. So, but, of course, ito yun ang the best kasi maski ang, ang sperm ni Michael Jackson nakapreserve in cryogenic storage. Ito rin ang ginagamit sa mga semen, di ba? Sa artificial insemination in liquid nitrogen tanks. This is in, um, these are the, um, so, ikaw, para kung gusto nyo yung preserve yung kagwapo, maski magpatay na ka, ang sperm ni mo, pwede nyo may patak using liquid nitrogen. Eh, wala pa ni mo nakita mo forever, ipahatang na lang ni mo. 
So again, this is viviparin. Nakikita mo kung ano tayo no. This is precocial germination. Wala siyang abscisic acid and mostly recalcitrant corn shock within the cow. So and this is what I'm talking about. Kanina ako may tik. So it's from the Greek word apo, meaning away or mixes, which means mingling. So wala siya actually sexual germination na nabuo. But they can produce viable seeds without pollination. So, meron siyang embryo containing exactly the same genetic information of the mother plant cell, kaya clones siya. And these are usually successful. In animals, ang apomexis is called parthenogenesis. No? Mura siya clone. So, example are the lanzones, obligate siya kasi they the plant will reproduce only by a sex one. So ang lanzones and mangosteen actually is walay wala siya sex one germination. No? Ano lang siya, apomectic lang siya, a sex one lang siya. And mango and citrus pakotatik kasi pwede siya both sex one and a sex one. So as you can see, duha ang na form in one seed. So asa gika mm. ng isa. Sa katong, iyahang clone. So, when we see, when we say, parthenocarpic, these are so useful. And parthenocarpic sila, from the Greek parthenos, meaning virgin pine carpus fruit, virgin fruit siya, they are, the fruit are being produced without fertilization. Kasi kanina, as you can see in the natural pollination process, kailangan mag, ano, pollination bago ma-produce ang fruit, di ba? Kasi it has the necessary na mga kanang um, hormones and also um, kanang um, chemicals to produce the fruit. But with partner, 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 seedless fruit, and iso iso ka ng partner, partner. It's seedless, pero na-develop ang fruit. No? Kasi um, it's also of one characteristic, for example, ang the oldest part of the Arctic pig, no? which is 11,200 years back. So when we plant in the field, usually when transplant or direct field, no? depende sa uh, ating gusto, no? sa economy, sa seeds mismo. So, and after that, we need to harden them for acclimatization and adaptation. Like, for example, 7 to 14 days, siya exposed with holding moisture para ma-retard ang growth and allow accumulation carbohydrates para enough na siya pala sa field red na na siya enough carbohydrates para maka-survive. So, plants that are usually transplanted are the cabbage and so on kasi dili na sila uh, kailangan nyo sila i-transplant para mas okay lang tubo. No? And crops that are usually direct seeded, dili na kailangan i-transplant kasi okay na sila na, na ilabay ng mimo dito. Melons, bitter gourd, cucumber, and so on. And, but there are crops that should be direct seeded like radish, turnip, carrot, leaves kasi once madisturb ang ilang roots, kung sa'yo may tabo, Four fruits na. Ba't na ba sa picture? Kita na mo four fruits? Ha? Wala mo kita? Ano mo wala din ako ginabutang? Okay. So, muna yung mahitabol sa four fruits. O, di ba? Ganun. Kaya mo palitan na. So, dapat i-direct lang yun na sila, hindi na sila, eh, ikaw nang transplant, ha? Tangan na ko picture. Yes. Kung, sa kanina mga tanong, ha? Okay. Okay. 
thing, huh? Okay, so uh, sometimes they also have seed boxes na na sila hay para ma-increase ang heat sa, ano, sa, ano, seed boxes. So, how deep yung dapat inong pagtanong? So, rule of the thumb here, it should not be deeper than 10 times the diameter of the seed. So, for epigial emergence, like soybean, they are prone to thrusting. Kaya dapat, then hypogeal emergence, kung so dapat, um, dili siya kaayo, lalo. And seeds are sown deeper also in Sunday than in clay soils. Kasi clay, maglisot sila gawas. O, oh, bilang sila kagawas. Kasi kung too shallow siya, they will not be able to reach soil moisture. And too deep wood, purot na ilang energy ginawas. No? So naatay mga different types of planting methods for different crops. Broadcast like seeding, drilling seeds, or hill seeding. So broadcasting, pag uh, manual or mechanized, or even spreading of seed on the top of seed bed. Drilling naman, i-deposit ni mo ang seed into uh, uniform seed bed using equipment with greater precision siya. So, mo ni mga seed driller sa so pellet rice. Napod mo, anak, ma'am? Wala. Papalita kay, ano? Kay, excellent. So, this is how to commute. Mo ni mga tibang kanya, sir? How to commute you? Magawa sa exam. Magawa sa exam. Hill method of landing. So, ang isa ka hectare kasi 10,000 square meters. So, you have to compute first the distance between four roads and distance between hill. No? For example, times the number of lands per hill. For example, no, um, corns, ang space sa corn is 75 centimeter between rows and 50 centimeter between hills. And maintain a two plants per hill. Therefore, no, Sa 10,000 hectare ni mo, i-divide siya o 0.75 times 0.50 cm and times 2 plants per year. So, 10,000 divided by 0.75 times 2, 53,300 plants per year. Now, may copy ma, you have to send. Now, sa GC. And for, that's for hill method. And for drill method, pare-pareho uh, raman actually, no? Kasi, ang, ang mag-vary lang siya sa number of plants per linear meter. So, 10,000 again, divided by 1 meter times 0.5 iahan spacing times 30 plants. So, these are the different planting calendar for the different crops in the Philippines. So, ang ampalaya, pwede siyang dalawang uh, planting, ideal season and off season. Ang rice naman, dalawa din siya, twice cropping per year. Ang kamati spelling, three croppings per year. So, these are the these seed plants, planting distances, and row spaces. So, um, rule of a thumb, actually, is kung saan canopy, kada ko canopy, no? And you know naman na inyohang, ang inyohang mag half sa inyohang hand, that's one meter. So, mag-optimize ka mo sa inyong sarili. Like, inyohang lakang, pinaman na siya ka, ano, inches. Kung maglakang, depende na kung kaikipon. <laughs> so, isa tiin. Mga ganyan, imuha more self-measurement mga ka. Mga mag, ano na ka ba? Standardize yung sarili. Eh, kung mag-measure kung meter, or half na sa kong gano'n. And, uh, for tanim naman, kung isa ka tako iyang canopy, inaanap kung tada ko iyang space. No? Para, it's for the light intercept, interception. Ayan, the different panel. So, familiarize lang natin mo and, they, and although ang questions not really much on planting distances. So, ito na yung tinatanong mo sa yung square, quick pounds, or diagonal and hexagonal at triangular contour system. 
of planting fruit and plantation crops. Sa square, of course, square ang inuhang. Um, pwede po mag, after square, magbutang ka pillar uh, between rows. So this is how you compute the number of trees. Uh, area over the planting distance, no, square. So for example, I will show you example. So for example, uh, ang imong area is 10,000 square meter divided by ang um, um, planting distance sa uh, sa lubi, pila, 10, 10 by 10. Ha? Ah, uh, 2. Ha? So, pila gini mong gusto? 9 by 9. So, 9 times 9. Ha? 9 times 9. 80, ha? 81. So, 10,000 divided by 81. Calculate mo. Ikatawa na po yung si Kwan. Ha? 10,000 divided by so you have 123 siblings of coconut to be planted. Okay na? Nakuha niyo? Wala kasi siya example. Ha? Sa square. Sa queen comes 9 by 9. Square mo na siya, di ba? Sa queen comes naman sa diagonal. It's just like a square but nakaka-additional um, three at the center. Ano na ba ko ito? Wala, for example, no? Pero may imagine man ninyo, no? Na naka-square siya. So, to compute naman the number of plants, so the same lang siya, no? Um, area over square planting distance, but na siya length in area over planting distance minus 1 times width in area over planting distance minus 1. And therefore, I conclude, mag-square na lang po. <laughs> so the same lang siya. Pilag ito ganina, 81, no? Uh, and then, in minus lang na to ang length. The ang length na is 9 meter. Ay, i-divide na to ang 9 meter over length in area. Ay, length na in area. That, the length in area is Nine gap no? nine. Over nine gap minus one, so nine over eight. Uh, so nine even by eight pula, times in planning of a week. Okay, nine by nine man kadawa. Isa ambut na kakaron? Nahanin mo lang yung mag-iatag sa kuha. Nilusin-lusin yung mga kong kinamuhin. Kadaya nag-compute sa 10 by 10. Gane, ha? Depende dito. So, nag-sample lang ta. So, ipano lang ninyo ang formula. Huh? Then, napo tayo hexagon na ako triangular. At equidistant. So, greater ang trees na na Matanong, but wala dili pwede mag-pillar trees. So, ito yung formula for hexagonal or triangular. Area over uh, square planting uh, distance, like 10 by 10. Multiply lang ni mo, 0.866. So, muna na ang number of blood trees. So, in planting methods for, la for rice, pwede tayong transplanting, direct seeding. And dry seeding, meaning naka submerge siya after seeding stage. This is transplanting, direct seeding, and followed so and dry seeding. So, ito yung wet bed method. Mag pre germinate siya muna 50 kilogram for 400 square meter for 1 hectare. Kaya na na siya. 
but uh, you need the transplant after 25 to 30 days of surgery. So that would method naman the same, 50 to 60 per 40 square meter, but for one hectare, but um, plus plus 10 to 14 days after sowing. Kasi naka-concrete pavement siya kaysa dako, ay kaysa kanina, wet bed. Pre-germinated seeds na niya siya. Tanin, ang simento kasi siya, o. Cedar. And dry bed, ganito siya. 50 kilograms and 5 square meter per 1 hectare and after 35 days. Well, casting, dali lang, diretso na nino siya. Pre-germinated siya ha, like 24 hours in one boy. And then row seeding. Ayan. Grilling method. So a sexual propagation could be natural or artificial. Uh, pwede tayong propagation by root, stem, leaves, and reproductive organs. Like for roots, pwede radish, carrot, dahlia, tapioca, these are tuberous roots. And by stem naman, we have runners, colons. Uh, example, colons ang tawag pag, strawberry, offset pag ikornia, rhizome pag banana, and ginger, balls from Allium and onion and corn for colocasia or ta uh, taro, colocasia de, acacia de, tuber, potato. Peto yung mga um, corn, tubers, runners, and corn. So stem cutting, pwede rin for sugar cream and so on, tuber, bulb. For onion, garlic, and corn, taro, banana, abaca, rhizome for rami and ginger, and runners, slits for pineapple and cabbage, suckers for banana, abaca, corns for gladiolus and abaca, breadfruit, wedding root cuttings, and leaf bud cuttings for black pepper and vanilla, stem cuttings as and other asexual materials, marketing, very na ni bagsak. Plantlets, banana, or the citrus, bumble, at kanina. And pwede rin by leaves, like takatakataka or bryophenone. Okay. Kita na mo ano, di ba? Ha? Wala, kata mo ano? Kala... Tambal po na siya. Or using reproductive organs, in agave, these are the bulbils. Pwede po bulbils, no? For rhizome, we have, uh, for ginger, ha? The, those are underground stems. Rhizome for ginger, tuber for potato, corn for amorphalos, and bulb for onion. But sub-aerial stems naman, runner for oxalis, oxen for inaria, and stolen for colocasia, and sapper for chrysanthemum. Aerial stems include tendrils for passiflora, katong ano, katong passion fruit, thorn, caricia, padusha, omonta, clado, asparagus, clado peels, also for asparagus and baldil for agave. Or you can use artificial vegetative propagation using cotton layers, grafting, bote, micropropagation. So for cuttings, no? citrus plant, bougainvillea, sugarcane, rose, and so on. A lot. And bound layering, just with strawberry and bookberry. So morning gina tawag na mound layering. Um, Dapo siya sa Utah, putlo niyo. And air layering, of course. It's... um. It's just like marketing, no? Where in you, the stem is girded or given a slit upward angle, then covered with moss or moist moss or cotton. And after a few weeks, uh, mag, mag roots na siya. Then cut it. So grafting, 
Um, U20 is the union of the stock and the science carried out with the help of the cambium, means tele. Nabagsak <laughs> kasi kung NC ito sa grafting. And then, nabagsak ko kasi ang um, asesor, iahanggi um, bira ang um, sayon. So, natanggal siya, so bagsak ko sa NC ito. <laughs> so, but uh, kaya ko nagreklamo because it's not the proper way to, uh, to as assess a grafting plan. Kasi yung mga NC ito na din eh, sa test ba? Ano sa NC ito? O, uh, diba? Ginaibot nila. So, please, uh, please take note na the true kanang assessment or the true ano, criteria for graphing is kailangan ang cambium magdikit. Pag slice ni mo, kailangan mag-abot siya ng luha ka, ang iyang panit, kaya para mong diya raman sila mo takot, dili kay pag-uutay, umiya eh, lift, lift ni mo. Naalang siya ko eh. <laughs> Naalang siya ko eh hugot, ha? Okay. So, almost all can be grafted, no? As long as na siya, you sell it siya or na siya come in. Even kamatis and uh, between, but, but uh, between family lang siya. And why do we do grafting? Para earlier ang iyahang protein, ang iyang maturity, and, and expected po, earlier po siya iyahang reproductive life. For example, for um for for 10 years to grow di ba 10 years usually 7 to 10 years para mamunga ang atong mga putri but uh it will only take 3 years as early as 3 years mamunga na sila ang mula pwede ganin sa pot ino na sila i-induce basta grafted sila or vegetatively propagated so these are the types of grafting so uh, tank grafting, ito siya. So actually, I use tank grafting kasi bali na kayo siya, V-shape lang. And then dapat fit you kayo ang iyahang mga kambiyo. Di, ni pag-uutay, nagdala na lang ng guldog. No? <laughs> Nalang siya kayo ugot. And then wedge grafting, ano siya? C is the crown grafting. Yan. So, uh, the co uh, in, the, in the crown grafting, the ko iyahang rootstock is really naka of course, dili na siya rootstock. Um, pwede yung rootstock, pwede rin the real tree, giputol nila. Then, i-insert lang ni Moha, iyahang, sayon, and then, na ako yung videos to show you later. And, um, buta nga lang siya, buta lang, buta lang, nasa lagi buta ka ng black, para dili siya mag, ano, mag-infection. And, um, pwede ang, um, Approach grafting is that um, naka-invent pa sa rootstock ang isa bago ni mo siya putlon. Split lang ni madare para sure-sure na dito nga mabuhi. And then, uh, bad grafting. Ayan. So, isa-isa yun na siya, no? Tanks, wedge, crown, approach, and in archery. So, bad grafting, pwede siyang T-shape. Ayan. How you insert and marketing or gote. So after two to three months, you can cover it with three to five centimeter length na slice. Then cover with clay or any uh, ano, moist ano, media. So pwede na siya kwa on ay ikat three after three months. So tissue culture technique is used to produce um, thousands of ma mass propagation, uh, which are disease-free using tissue culture. So this is, uh, for example, for banana, tissue culture. From the soccer, we're going to cut it quarter, and then uh, to produce, wala na klaro kong drawing, sorry, the wrong. But it will take you six to eight months inside the laboratory and two months in the nursery. 
So advantage na is madami ka, mass propagation and virus free and um, although expensive but then efficient. Sa vegetative propagation naman, ginagamit siya for example uh, for banana na hindi siya nagsisid. So importante yun ang vegetative propagation. Using sucker, it will take you a lot of sucker no? para mag-plant of uh, uh, thousands of hectares. So tissue culture is the best. For roses, for Bermuda grass, and also cheaper and rapid, easier method. And what else? Same characters. That's why most ornamentals are vegetatively reproduced. While grafting will enable you uh, also, like for example, sa Santan, no, ay Santan, uh, Bougainvillea rather, nakapansin mo ng Bougainvillea like lahi color ng gula. You can do that using budding or grafting. So, and it can also, you can also get rid of pathogen and um, also reduce power of sex uh, or poor viable, viable na mga crops. So, vegetative propagation is good. And when they um and disadvantage na ko, for disadvantage naman, um you cannot both <laughs> existing yun na sila no dili ni mo pwede sila wala on kasi um they you cannot eliminate kasi clone naman gud siya so dili ni mo siya pwede ma breed or whatever mm -hmm. and after subsequent generation like for banana they will uh cause mutation diba like more than eight cycles in the tissue culture Sila mo ka cycle sir Dre? Uh, nine. Nine. Uh, wala yung mutation? Wala. Na na. Daghan. And then adaptability for to environment will decrease because of the absence of variation. Like for example, sudden, nagka sudden lang. Like for example, sa to, di ba? Yung nagka pandemic tayo. Uh, the survival of the fetus, Jod. Daran sa toan ang amatay, that time. Pero karon na gahi yunig mga bituka ng nabili na rin ako. Pero vaccinated na matatanan. Kaya hindi man taka sunod, kung dili. Ay lang tsaba. Ay yung tsaba, sir. <laughs> Overcrowding and severe competition among the daughter plants will also result in the year, no? Kung, uh, overcrowding na siya. So, yun lang ang mga advantages. And I guess yun lang. Ay, salamat na humanag nag siya ka para maka ano na mo. Then, um, sana 15 minutes or break. Um, so, mga pinapunta, kay napatay ka pa ni sir? Or mag-quiz sa ta? Yeah, na. <laughs> kapi sa. Between kapi and quiz, di kapi no. Dari na kayong pasabot. Nakadungog mo, diha sa ano. Nakadungog mo mga staff. Nakadungog mo ka. Ang mata po. Kung Hinahinay siya na po pa na. So break muna tayo ng 15 minutes. So, ang next natin na topic ay
Nag, uh, second taker na ka? Unsa na yung subject? Extension. So, murang imo ang itik na lang. Gano'n siya ang year? I-inquire daw daan sa PRC. Para sure. Okay, masiglahi. Nag-apply nag na ka? Pag-apply ni mo, may iba na na ni mo. Kung saan na-require ko ni mo. Pag, uh, file na. Oh. Sa una, sa una karon lahi na. Ay, meaning retake na po talagang. Patong na. Ba't sila man ay mo-advise sa inyo, ha? Oo, pag-file na lang dahil, sir. Pwede na makaimang kaan.
The flower is the reproductive organ of a plant. Let's get familiar with the parts of a flower. Here is a section of a typical flower. The flower contains four basic parts. The leaf-like sepals, the attractively colored petals, the stamens and a pistil. The stamen, which is the main part of the plant, consists of the filament and the anther. The anther has pollen grains that contain the male gametes. The female part of the plant is made up of the stigma, the style and the ovary. The ovary has ovules which contain the female gametes. Let's now understand how reproduction in plants is brought about. Pollination and fertilization are the two major events that bring about reproduction. Pollination is simply the transfer of pollen from the anther to the stigma of the pistil. The stigma receives the pollen grains. Pollen grains can be carried from anthers to the stigma by wind, water or insects. 
pollen trapped by the stigma germinates to produce a long tube, which travels down the style and enters the ovary. The pollen tube contains the male gamete. The male gamete fuses with the female gamete in the ovule. This process of fusion is called fertilization. The zygote develops into what is commonly called the seed. After the seeds have formed, the ovary matures to produce fruits. New plants grow from the seeds under suitable conditions. This is the process by which plants propagate themselves. Eso que estás en los renes para para ver mejor hasta para herir el árbol. Citrus grafting. And this is my fourth video. I took a um, tree that I previously tried to graft and the graft didn't work. So I cut it off below the tape and I'm trying again. Um, I split the wood just like I always do. I kind of went off so I ended up with a little bit of a veneer graft. Um, taped it up. After the tape I'll put the plastic on it. And I'm going to have to wait three weeks to see how it works. Um, when it's done, it should look like this with a little bit of new growth coming out of it. Um, this is a graft on the right of a grapefruit that I've done last year. It's growing so good that I'm putting some grafts at the end of the grapefruit to keep it from growing too fast. There I'm inserting a blood orange into my grapefruit. And uh, the grapefruit is grafted onto a navel orange. Okay, here I'm attaching another blood orange. And after I got them all done, I'm going to wrap them together in one single plastic bag to keep them for three weeks, and then we'll see how they turn out. Um, also put some uh, honey bells and some lemons on this tree. When you've got uh, irregular shaped one size, this alley all turn out. 
long as you got one side good, doesn't matter if the other side's too big or not. Here's some previous ones. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank Kailangan kulo ang kamutana. Of course, not all members of the cucumber family will make good grafting subjects. Here are some of the cucumber bits which we found would not function as rootstock or scion. These species all failed in our trials. As we saw in Volume 4 on tubers and tuberous roots, the family Solanaceae contains many important plants such as potatoes, tomatoes, peppers, eggplants, and tobacco. These plants of the nightshade family respond well to cleft grafting. This is a relatively easy technique and has become the most commonly used method of grafting. The most commonly used vegetable for cleft grafting is the tomato. We've selected Solanum pimpinella folium for our rootstock variety because of the current tomato's excellent vigor, weather tolerance, and disease resistance. Recall that the tomato seeds for the rootstock variety should be sown at least a week earlier than the scion. The current tomato is especially slow to germinate, so we'll plant the seeds a full three weeks before planting the scion. The rootstock of the current tomato should be ready for grafting when it has six leaves. The scion variety we're using, called carbon, will be younger than the rootstock and should only have four leaves. But no matter how many leaves the scion or rootstock have, we still need to match the thickness of the stems. Tomatoes are susceptible to a wide range of diseases, so we'll want to keep our work area sanitized and use a new razor blade for each graft. After winter has thawed, the first flowers of early spring appear. But these plants have not grown from seeds. They have reproduced from bulbs. Bulbs enable plants to reproduce asexually, that is, without producing gametes. Bulbs are known as perinating organs. They allow plants to survive in adverse conditions and then to grow quickly when the time is right. The swollen rhizomes of irises have a similar function, but asexual reproduction does not rely solely on perinating organs. This liverwort can reproduce asexually via gemmae. Gemmae are small discs of green tissue that grow inside special cups. When mature, they break off from the parent plant, often due to the action of raindrops. They scatter away from the parent plant 
and will eventually grow into new gametophyte plants. Plants like this bryophyllum can also reproduce asexually. Miniature plantlets develop at the edges of its leaves. In time, these will drop off and develop into independent plants. Mature strawberry plants are able to establish new plantlets on the end of long runners. Gardeners are able to cultivate plants asexually via cuttings. This is possible because stem cells like these are able to trigger the formation of root cells and will start to grow roots. The ability of many plants to reproduce asexually helps commercial growers because it's quicker and more reliable than growing plants from seeds. It also ensures growers that quality is consistent. Asexual reproduction is all about exploiting a good niche. In such circumstances, the value of sexual reproduction with its resultant diversity may actually weaken the dominance of an established group. But in a changing environment, diversity means survival. So I guess yun lang about um exactly ano kani ng banana tish culture kung lahim mo sila methods sa methods na to so dili ni yun this one na pang methods sa kasi nagagamit lang sila Gamay kayo nga sa ako.
Ебали кранч. О, деба, а сакана. Да, вот на на потом видели, на потом видели. Куда нам надо ретро раса? Потому что по сбанго они. So, ang say, ang say, ano, difference ako, third race. Kasi kalayan ako. Oo. Ha? Pote. Ang iya, ha? Kesa inyo? Anong pote man? Ako ba? Pero di ba ang gamit ninyo is nasa 50 to 60 cm na ano, katukay gamay raman kayo ng sucker. 